Money Matters is sponsored by Strategic Wealth Designers. This week, Congress continues to discuss a second round of stimulus as the first set of benefits are set to expire next week. Fox 59's Angela Ganote sat down with Mike Reeves of Strategic Wealth Designers to sort out what we can expect and how it may affect your money. So, Mike, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the main focus for this round of relief would be kids, jobs, and vaccines. Do we have any sort of indication at this point, do you think, of what could actually come, though, from the stimulus? Well, keep in mind the first stimulus package, we were in borderline panic in the U.S. Um, you know, all kinds of issues going on. This time around, however, they can slow down here and become more targeted because we have a better idea of the influence on the virus. So look for a more targeted package. Look for something that you know, maybe changes a couple flaws in the first one. In the next 10 days, we're going to get a really good idea of what that looks like. But not, not certain at this point, maybe a trillion, maybe three trillion. Who knows? But look for things to get interesting, heat up in the next 10 days or so. Just crazy amounts of money we're talking about. There's a lot of talk, too, about the extra un unemployment money that's going to be ending, perhaps. Some say that additional $600 of unemployment benefits really keeping people from going back to work. Do you think that benefit will be extended, considering we still have more than a million people filing for unemployment for the first time? <laughs> Well, in the first one, that was one of the big flaws in it. Uh, when people are incentivized to stay home, it's hard to get people going, as you mentioned. Look for that to be restructured. Look for Congress to find a way to, uh, to align the incentive to get back to work. One, um, one other additional benefit you might see is first responders. Uh, get some benefits here. Look for this again to be targeted schools, jobs, kids. Um, but again, really, we don't have a really good idea what that looks like because both sides are pretty far apart. The race too, it's on for the vaccine. Several trials showing positive results right now early on. The stock market reacts accordingly. It likes it when that news develops. In recent memory, this is one of the most difficult times to really judge though, where the stock market's gonna go from here. What do you think, or what are you telling investors to do with their financial portfolios, really trying to get through this pandemic? Well, some people, they're getting a headache right here. That roller coaster of the market way down, back up. For folks that kind of took it on the chin in the last, you know, in the, in when the pandemic first came out, some people were down anywhere between 20 and 40%. You're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. If that gave you a headache, well, you're kind of getting a get out of jail free card. You know, remember from Monopoly or a Hall Pass, you have an opportunity to fix this. The way to fix it, get a financial plan. That'll show you where you're at, where you're going, how to get there. One easy way to do that is get a financial advisor. You want a fiduciary that acts in your best interest and get some safety nets for folks that are taking too much risk. The problem would be next time, what if it goes down and it stays down and you're trying to retire? That yeah. could you know, really put your retirement in a bad spot. You don't want to do that. Fix it now while the market's up. Yeah, I don't like to look, but you have to. I, you know, be, have a plan. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so for more information on that topic or other money savers, you can head to fox59.com and click on the Strategic Wealth tab. A truck driver spots 